This is a quick video on how to enter an email address into your CopyStar uh, copier's address book. Um, the machine will need to be connected to the network and you will need to know the IP address of your copier. Once you know the IP address, just go to a computer, any computer doesn't really matter. Open up a web browser. Browser is not, doesn't really matter either, any type of browser, Google, Chrome, Firefox, whatever you guys are using. Type the IP address into the machine. Into, excuse me, type the IP address of the machine into your web browser. No www or http needed. Go ahead and click enter and that'll take you to the page. Now occasionally what you guys may see when you first enter the IP address and first hit the machine's web page, you guys may see a uh, certification issue. Again, nothing really to be concerned about here. If you see this, basically just drop down here to continue to this website and then it'll take you to the machine's web page. It's just an SSL uh, cer certification issue. Once we are on the machine's web page, what we can do is on the left hand side, we're going to go ahead and click address book. And then we're going to click on machine address book. Depending upon your network, if you've got a lot of traffic on it, it may take a little bit of time to refresh. Once the page refreshes, towards the top, we're going to click on add. Basically, there's two areas only in this uh, on this page that we essentially have to fill out, and that's going to be the name, and that's going to be the email address. So the name is going to be some sort of friendly name that you guys are comfortable with uh, showing up on the front control panel of the machine. And again, it can be named whatever you want, just as long as you guys are comfortable with it, and as long as the user understands that friendly name will be their email address. For today's test, I'm just going to name uh, just put test in there. Oopsie. and then after we enter the name we'd enter the user email address once we're satisfied with this what we can do is uh, go ahead and scroll to the bottom and then click submit this may take about 15 seconds or so to uh, refresh itself just let it run again depending upon your network speed depending upon if the machine is busy or not um, you know it may take a second to refresh. Once it refreshes, that's basically it. You'll get a confirmation that uh, your address book has been registered and then you will see the uh, number that was assigned to it.